Well, let's talk about the Ghana Atomic Energy Air, Air Commission. Uh, many are those who associate the Atomic Energy Commission with the production and dealings in nuclear weapons. But the reality is a completely different one from the perception. Actually, as we're getting to know, the Commission is mainly engaged in activities to boost agriculture and other sectors. Yesterday, the Commission opened up to the media, showcasing some of its works. I have here in the studio Dr. Michael Osai. He's the Deputy Director of the Biotech Technology and Nuclear Agriculture Research Institute. And joins me now, he's going to tell us about the African Renaissance Day, and then we look more at uh, the commission and what more we should know to to uh, rethink our perceptions of, of the commission you're welcome sir thank you so let's let's begin let's begin with the African Renaissance Day tell us a bit more about it okay so the uh, Ministry of Environment Science and Technology observes Africa Scientific Renaissance Day um, every year and it is hosted by one of the agencies under the ministry every year. So this year, the Atomic Energy Commission is hosting it. And it's a day to um, remind all of us about the work that Africa did in leading the, the renaissance or scientific mm. uh, investigations in the past. So okay. we are remembering this day to, to uh, reiterate the need to focus on science and technology in our national okay. development. But if, I, if, if you, you, you need to answer to someone who says, what is there to show? Um, we know that the commission was set up in way back in Nkrumah's time. Okay. What, what is there to show? What, what, what is there to be proud of? There is a lot that the Atomic Energy Commission is proud of. Um, we have a, a nuclear reactor, a research nuclear reactor, which we have used to do a lot of work in the country. We have a radiation facility which is a cobalt 60 irradiator. We use it to do a lot of work in agriculture, in health, in industry. Um, we use it to extend the shelf life of foods and so many other things. We do a lot of uh, research in agriculture. Hmm. We, we have produced a lot of different planting materials for okay. different groups of people, developed new uh, crop varieties through mutation breeding, controlled different as, uh, types of insect pests using unique technologies from mm. nuclear and so many other things. So is there anything that you're doing with the Planting for Food and Jobs program at the moment? Yes, we have a lot of technology that directly or indirectly uh, feed into the Planting for Food and Jobs. Please go ahead. Yes. So we have um, programs such as uh, mutation breeding, where we are breeding new varieties. So recently, I mean last year, we, have, we had four, five varieties of cassava that have been passed by the Varietal Release Committee to, um, to be released finally to farmers. And these new varieties would, would, would help a lot of our farmers because most of them have very unique starch characteristics that would be good for industry. And also, uh, three of them have a high pro-vitamin A content. So they will be very good in tackling some of the nutritional interventions of the country. What do you think that people... I mean, people have all kinds of perceptions about the Ghana Atomic Energy Commission. Sometimes, I mean, the first time I heard it, this was way back uh, a, a couple of years, I, I never knew there was anything like that that existed. So for people who don't know much about it, what, what is it that you can say to actually educate them about what you do, why it's even important for the state to continue keeping you there? So nuclear is one technology that is very versatile because it can be used in several aspects of our economy. Um, we have nuclear techniques that are applied in health. So I'm sure you have heard about the radiotherapy centers yeah. in Kumasi and, and, and Konfanochi. Okay. Konfanochi and then in Kolebu. These are, these are te facilities that use nuclear techniques. So radiation is used in treating cancer, in cancer diagnostics and all that. Mm. We, and our scientists are part of that work. Our, our scientists, it's actually through Ghana Atomic Energy Commission that those facilities came into the country. And we championed the training of um, nuclear physicists and all that in the country. When it comes to industry, a lot of the gas tanks that you see need to be checked for corrosion regularly. Mm -hmm. And we have unique techniques that are used. We call it non-destructive testing that are used to check those. We have facilities that are used to check 
radiation, radiation leakages in the soil. So if you go to oil fields or into the mines, we are regularly working with them to make sure that okay. um, workers are not exposed to radiations that are in the environment. We have, in, when it comes to agriculture, we use mutation breeding to develop new crop varieties. We have uh, what we call the sterile insect technique for mm -hmm. pest control okay. and so many other things. So there's, it seems to be a lot going on a there, lot. but very little of that is known to the public. Is um, it a strategy that works for you, that you are kept in the dark, or do you feel that in this day of technology, in this day where our young, we want to develop you know, the technological skills of our young people, that you should be a, little, a bit more visible? Okay, so we've been doing a lot of R&D in the past. Um, What's uh, R&D? Research and development okay. in the past. And we think now we have developed so many technologies that are sitting on the shelf. We are not okay. going out there. So we have started going out there to talk to the public. We are engaging industry. We are engaging the media. We are engaging the end users of our technology, farmers okay. and industry, to make sure they get to know about this technology. So well, it's not like we are comfortable have keeping it away I'm from I'm just them. wondering, maybe it's a strategy because no, you're dealing not. with uh, nuclear <laughs> energy. <laughs> maybe no, it's a strategy to no, keep yours. It's, it's not. not. So you're looking to put it out there. As we wrap up this conversation, there's a national science and math quiz that's ongoing and it attracts a lot of young people. It is a big deal for the senior high schools. I, I, is uh, Atomic Energy considering an opportunity, you know, to open up these young people to what you do, you know, engaging them. They're doing it just at the University of Ghana, which is not far from where you are. Yes, um, we don't, we are not involved with the National Science and Math Quiz, but what we do is our doors are open to secondary schools and we always have them come in on excursion mm -hmm. to come and see educational visits, to come right. and see what we have. I, I'm and, just and wondering, that, so. I'm just wondering whether you, this would be, and you could use this as an opportunity to, you know, uh, get in touch with them, you know, the young people there, try and... I don't think this is okay. the right time to involve them in these things because okay. the kids are preparing for a competition. <laughs> a lot of them need time to study and all those things. So I think we will not have to interfere in this uh, science and math quiz, but find our own opportune time. And we have a lot of opportunity to deal, to meet with... Uh, the organizers with, uh, of the program. Yes. I think that we, would be great. In the past, we have even had quizzes that are focused only on nuclear techniques. Okay. Yes. All right. So that's something that you're doing. Is there any final words, anything you want to take, uh, you want us to take away from this conversation? I just want to assure the public that um, Ghana Atomic Energy Commission is not about bombs. It's not about <laughs> nuclear weapons. Okay. We are focused on developing peaceful applications of nuclear techniques in industry, in agriculture, in health, to to facilitate and to promote the socio-economic development of the country. Thank you very and much for if, coming. If uh, your viewers have time, they can pass by the Ghana Atomic pass Energy by. Commission and see what we do there. At, around Atomic Junction. Yes. Uh, around Atomic Junction in Medina. Well, pass by, take a look, see how it's going there. You never know what you can learn. Dr. Michael Osai is Deputy Director of Biotech, uh, Biotech Technology and Nuclear Agriculture Research Institute of the Ghana Atomic Energy Commission.